Hi, I'm Angie Moreski. Valentine's Day had us wondering how can you make sure you get quality flowers if you send a bouquet? What makes one dozen roses last for a week or more while another lasts for only a few days? Well, in the interest of getting your money's worth and pleasing your sweetheart, we went to an expert to find out. This is Latin Lady. Whether you're looking for something exotic or traditional, quality flowers that last are important to everyone. So we came to Downtown's Florist in Tampa to get some pointers from owner Ginger Hauser on what makes for quality roses. This is how the roses come packed. Most roses come to the florist from South America, shipped in a box. From there, Ginger says how they're processed is the most important factor in how long they last. She says cutting the stems at an angle underwater is key. By cutting them underwater, the, they're trimmed and the first thing they get is water. There's no chance for air to get in there to block the passageway. It's like, it's like there are straws in the stems of the roses and the water, has to, the water and the nutrients have to get up. It's also important for the water to have a preservative in it, like Floralife, and that the roses are left out to breathe and hydrate, absorbing those nutrients for a couple of hours. So this is about how they should look after a few days. Yeah. Opened yeah. up bright right. and, and really at the peak of their beauty. That's opening nicely. I mean, you can see the different stages. Every once in a while, you're going to get what's called a bullet. That's a tight rosebud that's kind of a dud and never really opens. Our experts say it's not always a sign of bad quality, it's part of nature. But if you get an entire bouquet full of bullets, that is a problem. Ginger says roses that have been processed properly should last a good seven days. When it comes to the cost of roses, you're paying for length. The longer the stem, the higher the price. A true long-stemmed rose should be no shorter than about 20 inches. Prices can vary from region to region. This is the typical bouquet you'd get for about $79.95. Here, in Tampa. In Tampa. In New York, it's, it's more. Much, in New York, it's $125. <laughs> okay. When it comes to getting roses really cheap, like 20 bucks a dozen, Ginger says beware. You know, when you see along the side of the road, roses oh, those, for $20. Don't even, don't even go there. No? No, those, those haven't been processed and they're basically, they're inferior. And what about ordering flowers online through services like Pro Flowers, 1-800-Flowers, or FTD? Ginger says it's hit or miss. It's like anything else on the internet, you're taking your chances. You know, it might be good, it might, it might be great, it might be terrible. Thank you for calling 1-800-Flowers.com. We're putting those 1-800 services to the test to see just how convenient they are and what exactly you get for your money. We ordered a dozen long-stemmed roses from five different services, including a local florist. Check back later this week to see how each one fared. And no matter who you order your flowers from, if you're not satisfied, our expert says call to let them know. A good florist will want to make it right and send you a new bouquet. For Consumer Warning Network, I'm Angie Moreski.